Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yam, and we are here at CES 2023. Of course, with the launch of the Raptor Lake family, that's the 13th gen Intel Core processors for both mobile and desktop, we're here to check out what our partners have done with this powerful silicon. Joining me today is Sasha from ASUS. Thanks for joining me in Talking Tech. Uh, give a quick intro. Yeah, um, so I'm Director of Technical Marketing for System Products, so that's laptops, both ROG and uh, uh, consumer, and also commercial models, actually. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Just like you have a lot of stuff to show today. Right. Now, we, we have a lot of cool stuff with 13th gen. We, that's great. We, we have a lot to get through, but I want to start here for a very special reason, because I've been carrying around these for CES. I want to show off. Actually, you first just happen of all, to have those in I, your pocket. I happen to have them. Now, first of all, day. 13th gen. H series, right? This is amazing. Up to 14 cores, right? 6P cores, 8E cores. Great, great chip. And we co engineered a special version of H. That looks familiar. Right. It, it, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So we made a Type 4 package, shrinking H a little bit and adding some memory right alongside it. So these are the ingredients. And I want to see what you guys have cooked up. Right, so Using we put this. it into our Zenbo Pro 16X, which is our flagship Zenbo Pro laptop. So it's for creators, but it is super slim and uh, super portable. And um, yeah, so a so lot of power. A lot in a, of power. In a, in a smaller package, right? We want right. to talk about what this new package enables. Right, so here you can see the previous generation, how much space it took up to have the CPU and the memory. And this is how much space it takes up on the current generation, the 2023 model. You can see how much smaller it is. And um, yeah, as a result, we have more space in the motherboard for other components. And because the LPDDR5X is straight on the package, it can be clocked at 7,500, which is around 20, 25% higher than, than regular, which is a lot of extra memory performance. We love seeing these co-engineering efforts. I'm glad I can do this right here and have that little uh, visual aid yeah. right here. As a on, side -by -side uh, on the effect. Um, so with that refresh, is there any sort of new features or capabilities that you can see in, in, the, in the new uh, Zenbo Pro? Yeah, so um, essentially you get a ton of extra memory performance, and in anything that's limited by memory performance, so video editing needs a lot of memory bandwidth, um, you can see very nice performance jumps um, by having the faster memory speed. And as a result of having more space on the motherboard, we were able to push up the TGP by around 20 watts. So overall system performance is a lot higher thanks to the more tightly integrated package. That's right, put more juice in it, it's gonna perform better. Yeah. Great, all right, let's move on. Cool. So of course we're sure to look at HX, and you know I love HX because you're the HX I, guy. I'm I mean, the HX you're dressed guy. In HX. That's right. I got eight P cores, sixteen E cores, and somehow there's Hold a lot it. of threads, yes. tons of threads. Um, but yes, let's get to HX. We usually do this for gaming. We've seen a lot of gaming HX, but this is HX in a different application. So tell me about these. So this is our creator flagship laptop, our Pro R Studio Book, and uh, we are showing it here with our brand new ASUS Spatial Vision. 3D OLED display, so you don't have to wear glasses, but it's still 3D. Uh, it does that with eye tracking, and uh, so stuff pops out of the screen. And uh, people at home won't be able to see it on their uh, TV or phone, but uh, essentially, it's like hovering around here, like this far out from the screen, and uh, it's kind of like a holographic display. It's like really sci-fi level stuff. Uh, the most exciting part for me is that with this technology, it is possible in the future to be able to project this to more than one user at the same time. Uh -huh. So right now it just works with one person at a time, so either for me or for you, but in the future we'll be able to do, like both of us can look at something in 3D from oh, wow. different angles. So. I can kind of tell it's trying to pick up a face, yeah. and it's trying, it's trying to track with me, yeah. and uh, seriously, I tried this, you can really see the 3D effects, and with an OLED, it's, it's pretty great. So uh, this is a great option, but it's not your only option. Right, for the creator so, space. so this is our flagship creator laptop, um, and the idea is kind of like, this is the laptop that probably your company is going to buy for you, hopefully, if you ask nicely, or maybe your university, um, and this is the laptop that maybe you buy yourself. So this is our lifestyle creator laptop, VivoBook Pro 16X. This one is almost half the price of the studio book, so at a much better price point. And uh, as an option to have that 3D display on there, you have it on both of them, it brings up the price by around 400, 500 USD. So not too bad. If you're already on the market for a new creator laptop, you pop in a few hundred extra dollars and you can get a 3D display, which is like a sci-fi level 3D holographic display. So you get, again, I gotta say, we, this is still the same top, top end Core i9 HX yeah, yeah. processor, and you can option it with that display, OLED, right, 3D, right, yeah. and you can just save a bunch of money? Yeah. Okay, so, so the only, only thing the is The wattage really is a little, a little bit higher on this one, you know, the, the cooling capacity is a little bit higher on this one, uh, but you still get roughly the same specs between these two. Okay, great options. All right, let's move on. 
I think I've just found the best thing at CES. Chairs. <laughs> oh but yeah. We're, but we're talking about a lot of other good things too. Right. So uh, we're here sitting down and what do we got? This is the flagship of our Xbook commercial laptop. So business laptops, executives, you know, like C-level businessmen who travel a lot, sales guys. And uh, this is super light. It's our lightest uh, laptop, uh, full lithium magnesium chassis. So that's the lightest metal alloy on the planet. And um, yeah, we didn't compromise on the strength and rigidity uh, to get to the super low weight point. And uh, yeah, this year it comes with a 16 by 10 panel, so bigger screen, OLED as well, um, as well as a bigger touchpad. And we added an extra fan to boost the TGP, uh, sorry, TDP by around 30%. So we're able to get some really good performance out of this uh, with a 13th gen U series. U series, great. And uh, yeah, as you say, it is quite light. You could even really, you could really just get a lot of like movement out of this if you just really yeah. want to fan it around. Yeah. I like it. Well, hey, we're moving quick right now, so let's jump to the next one. All right. All right, so we're out of our chairs. We're upstanding individuals. Pardon the pun. Uh, long day. Uh, but here, we're looking at gaming. So obviously, ROG for gamers, Republic of Gamers. Uh, let's get right into it. So um, this is the flagship, uh, those are the flagship models for our Strix series, which are kind of like our brute force, absolutely pedal to the metal uh, desktop replacement laptop. So everything fully maxed up. And uh, 16 inch and 18 inch, the SCAR models are going 16 by 10. So you got slimmer bezels, especially at the bottom here. Um, and um, yeah, fully maxed out. So 13th gen, we're pushing it up to 175 watts on the CPU and also on the GPU. And uh, the way we're doing it is we have an edge-to-edge -edge heatsink cooling solution. So this is all heatsink fins now from one side to the other. There's extra heatsink fins here and also here. And we also added a third fan here in the middle. And I actually got the heatsink here and the motherboard. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Let's see what's inside, how this works. Right, so here you got the CPU and you got the GPU. Two memory slots, two sodium slots, and uh, two SSD slots. There's one, there's one here. And yeah, that's the cooling solution. So you can see. And, and just because people are probably wondering, why why are they wearing stickers? So that's, that's, that's the, the little, reason they're stickers the on is yeah I was I was showing it to media before CES so I had to tape it up and hide it for embargo yeah. reasons and and I used really really strong sticky tape so I can't get rid <laughs> of it ROG sticky tape but yeah now the yeah. CPU and GPU the covers are lifted. Well, you That's know if I had to cover it up I thought at least I make it look nice. Yeah, no. you know? yeah. <laughs> good call, good call. So and uh, we use Conductor Note Extreme on both CPU and GPU. That's the second generation liquid metal, pure indium and gallium, five degrees lower still than regular liquid metal. And uh, for around five years, you can expect to have the same temperatures, just like on day one, which is really crazy right. compared to regular thermal paste. Great, pretty impressive. And uh, you know what? I also spot a familiar face over there. It's actually one of our favorites in 12th gen. Does that have Raptor Lake in it? Correct, so this is the 13th gen refresh of our ROG Flow Z13, and it now comes with a Core i9-13900, uh, also a vapor chamber and liquid metal inside. And it's crazy that in this 1.1 kilo Windows tablet, you can have a Core i9 running at incredibly high clocks and incredibly high performance, so yeah. Yeah, one of the, one of the great, great innovations, and of course you guys uh, also have that external uh, DGPU, if you one right. a little bit more. Right, our XG Mobile. And we just launched a new one up to RTX 4090 now. So, right. really crazy. Very interesting. Okay. All right, I'm actually noticing a bit of a theme right now on our little Raptor Lake 13th Gen Tour is that we're giving you big power and you guys are putting it in pretty small packages. We're talking right. about like, you know, small laptops, light notebooks, and now, a small desktop. So. Small desktop as well, yeah. Okay. So not really a laptop, but very portable. Um, so this is our most compact desktop yet. It's our ROG G22, but you can still have a regular full-size graphics card in there. So no, um, when I say full-size, I don't mean you know like uh, 4090 full-size, right. but regular full-size graphics card fits in here. And you even have water cooling in this super compact chassis. And this is this using some sort of uh, like mini ITX, or is this uh, using uh, an, an own design from in-house. It's a custom motherboard, similar to ITX, but a little bit bigger. So unfortunately, you won't be able to build your own system in this. Um, you'll have to buy an amazing system pre-built by us. <laughs> but this one also features uh, a Core i9 
13900K? Yes, correct. It also comes with the latest 13th gen Core i9. So you get plenty of CPU performance. And there's a radiator here at the top, so you can really fully max it out as well. And uh, yeah, full graphics card. So you can still upgrade it, change it. Amazing. So yeah, like you said, super portable. Um, and I think that people who like to bring their systems to like LAN parties. Yeah. Or, or like video editing, right? Like right. like you guys at trade shows, you have to edit the videos. This is great, right? Absolutely. Take it with you. Yeah, HX or you know yeah. full, full desktop. That's great. Well, Sasha, thank you so much. Great tour. Appreciate you talking tech with me. Thank you. Thank you.